Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In today's lecture, we will discuss how we can find the square root of perfect numbers. We know that the square of 1 is 1, the square of 2 is 4, the square of 3 is 9, square of 4 is 16, square of 5 is 25, square of 6 is 36, square of 7 is 49, square of 8 is 64, square of 9 is 81, square of 10 is 100, square of 11 is 121, square of 12 is 144, square of 13 is 169, square of 14 is 196, square of 15 225, square of 16 is 256, square of 17 is 289, square of 18 is 324, square of 19 is 361, square of 20 is 400, square of 21 is 441, Square of 22 is 484, square of 23 is 529, square of 24 is 576 and square of 25 is 625. In this square we see that the unique number of all these square numbers is either it may be 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. We see 1, 4, 6, 5, 9, 0, 5, 6, 9, 4, 1, 0, 1, 4, 6, 5. That means in all numbers, the unique numbers are either it may be 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. That means in every perfect square numbers, the unique place is always it may be 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. That means we can say that a number having unique place 2, 3, 7 and 8 which is not a perfect square number. A number having the unique number are 2, 3, 7 and 8 are not a perfect square number. For example, we have to write 2, 8, 3, 8. Is it a perfect square number? No, because the unit place of this number is 8. In a perfect square number, the unit place must be 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. So, we conclude that in a perfect square numbers, the unit place is always 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. Now we see if the number, the unit number is 0 of any number, then its square root also have the unit number 0. The unit number of any number is 1, then its square root have two unit numbers, either it may be 1 or it may be 9. If the unit place of any number is 4, then the square root of that number have the unit numbers, either it may be 2 or it may be 8. If the unit place is 5 of any number, then its square root unit number is also 5. If the number having unit number is 6, then the square root having its unit place is two numbers. One is 4 and another is 6. And if the unit number of any number, unit place of any number is 9, then its square root have the unit place either it may be 3 or it may be 7. From this we conclude that the sum of the two numbers 1 and 9 is 10. The sum of 2 and 8 is also 10. The sum of 4 and 6 is 10. The sum of 3 and 7 is 10. That means a number having unit place 1. After finding its square roots, the unit number of that number may be 1 or may be 9. Similarly, if the number having unit place 4, after finding the square root, number have the unit place, either it may be 2 or it may be 8. 
the number having unit place 6 after finding the square root the unit place of that number may be 4 or 6 if the number having unit place 9 after finding the square root of that number we get the new number whose unit place is either 3 or 7 now we have to find the square root of the perfect square numbers with the help of example you can learn easily you find the square root within seconds using some short trick now we can solve a example we can take a very simple example find the square root of 784 784 pairing this number pairing from back side so 84 is a pair now in 84 the unit place is 4 we say see here if the unit place is 4 then after finding the square root the unit place either may be 2 or may be 8 so we have to write these two 2 or 8 here now in next step we see 7 where is the 7 lies in this table 7 is lies between 4 and 9 that means 7 is lies between 2 square and 3 square the lowest value is 2 square that means we have to write 2 2 or 2 8 that means the square root of 784 may be 22 or may be 28 how we can decide the exact value of the square root of 784 we see 7 is lies between 4 and 9 the distance between 7 and 4 is 3 the distance between 7 and 9 is 2. So 7 is nearer and nearer to 9 as compared to 4. So the largest value 28 is the square root of 784. Understand? We can take one more example. You can understand easily. The next one is square root of 961. Step to step. We will discuss. The first step, we have to pairing the number from back side. 61 is the pair. We see the last digit unit place is 1. We see when the unit place is 1, then after finding the square root, the unit place may be 1 or may be 9. So we write 1 or 9 here. After that, we see 9. Where is the 9 lies in this form? Where 9 is lies 6, 9 and 60. That means the square of 3 and square of 4. The lowest value is 3. So we write 3, 1 or 3, 9. That means the square root of 961 either may be 31 or may be 39. Now we check 9. 9 is equal to 9 less than 16 that means 9 is near to 9 itself so the lowest value that means the 31 is the square root of 961 understand we can take more examples and solve the square root of a perfect numbers find the square root of 1089 step to step the first step Pairing the number from back side, 89 is the first pair and 10 is the other. In 89, the last digit is 9. We see here, if the number having last digit 9, then after finding its square root, the unit place either it may be 3 or 7. So we have to write 3 or 7. Now in the next step, 10. Where we see here 10 is lies between 9 and 16. That means the 10 is lies between 3 square and 4 square. The lowest value is 3 square. That means we have to write 3, 3, 3 or 3, 7. That means 
the square root of 1089 as either it may be 33 or 37 how we can decide the exact answer of square root of 1089 we see 10 is greater than 9 and less than 16. The difference between 9 and 10 is 1. The difference between 10 and 16 is 6. So 10 is nearer and nearer to 9 as compared to 16. That means the lowest value 33 is the exact answer of the square root of 1089. One more example. Find the square root of 1681. The same process, pairing the number, 81 is the pair, the unit place is 1, we see when the unit place is 1, then after finding the square root, the unit place may be 1 or 9, so we have to write 1 or 9. Now, in the next page, 16, we see 16 16 or 25. So the lowest value is 4 square. We have to write 4 1 or 4 9. That means the square root of 1 6 8 1 either it may be 41 or 49. But we see 16 is equal to 16 is less than 25. That means 16 is nearer and nearer to 6. Exactly 16 is equal to 6. So the lowest value 4, 1, 41 is the square root of 1, 6, 8, 1. Understand? Find the square of 1, 5, 1, 2, 9. It's a 5 digit number. The same step, pairing the number from back side 29 and 1, 5, 9 is a 1. 29, the last digit is 9. So after finding the square root, the last digit either may be 3 or 7. So we have to write 3 or 7. Now, in the next step, 151. Now, 151 is lies between 144 and 169. That means the square of 12 and 13. 151 is lies between 144 and 169. That means the square of 13 and 12 and 13. The lowest value is 12. So we have to write 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2, 7. That means the square root of 15129 either it may be 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2, 7. Which one is the right? We see. 151 is greater than 144 and less than 169. The difference between 141, 144 and 151 is 7 and the difference between 151 and 169 is 18. So 151 is nearer and nearer to 144. Therefore, 1, 2, 3 is the right answer. That means the square root of 1, 5, 1, 2, 9 is 1, 2, 3. One more example. Find the square root of 1, 0, 2, 0, 1. Again a 5 digit number. The same process. Pairing the number. The first pair is 0, 1. Now, 1. If the last digit is 1, then after finding the square root, the digit, last digit may be either 1 or 9. So we have to write 1 or 9. Now, 102. 102 is lies between 100 and 121. That means the square of 10 and the square of 11. So the lowest one is 10. So we write 10, 1 or 10, 9. That means 101 and 109. Which one is the exact answer? We see 102 is greater than 100 
and less than 121. The difference between 100 and 102 is 2 and the difference between 102 and 121 is 19. So 102 is near to 100. Therefore 101 is the answer of the square root of 10201. It is very easy. I think you are enjoying this class. There are some questions for your practice. Find the square root of 576, square root of 1024, square root of 2116, square root of 12769 and the square root of 16641. Solve these questions and share the answer of these questions in comment box. Thanks for watching our videos. Like our videos, subscribe our channel. Thanks to all. Have a nice day. Good luck.